Hello and welcome to the section 2 Threat Hunting Methodology. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about how you can gather information about threats, then threat sharing and exchange, then indicator of compromise which is IOC, threat hunting methods and finally report writing. Threat reports and research. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about threat reports and research and I'm going to explain you these points. Now guys if we talk about threat report and research it means that uh, we need to find out the publicly available data regarding threat. For example if someone has reported a threat so we need to be updated regarding that threat. So how you can do this because there are various interesting websites are available which can be used to get the latest information about the threats and I have listed few websites here for for example I have basically collected these so I have collected these websites and uh, basically here I am providing you the information these all websites are very important for threat report and research for example first one critical stack so here you can see the first one critical stack intel feed and basically you can see in the working this platform is for free intelligence marketplace so it can provide you information about the latest threats and the latest reports APT notes publicly available papers for malicious activities so these papers are publicly available and you can get the information about malicious activity or the malwares inside these papers malware domain list it provides list of dangerous domains so if you want to gather information about the dangerous domains then malware domain list website can help you so you can open malware domain list website and get information about if that particular domain is dangerous or not Internet Storm Center's Suspicious Domains website. So what this website provides, domains are listed for le level of sensitivity. So you will see the level of sensitivity regarding domains are available there and it can provide you that if this domain is safe or not. Tech Help List. Focus on phishing and malware crying mails. So Tech Help List website can provide you information about the phishing that uh, if the website is using phishing or not and if these mails are carrying malwares or not. Malware traffic analysis. This website can provide you information about malwares as well as exploit kits available on internet. Threat miner. Threat miner can provide you the task for uh, basically hunters and hunters can perform these tasks. Threat crowd. Threat crowd can provide you uh, information about the artifacts and it has graphical interface so these all websites are very useful and on the right hand side you can see the working so you can open these websites and you can check the websites so guys uh, now I have opened few websites here so you can see for example this is threat miner right so you can see here that this is how to use threat miner to help users get the most out of threat miner this page lists all the search operators currently implemented if you encounter any problem so this is basic information about threat miner you can see about threat miner how to use threat miner maltego transforms so it also uses maltego maltego is also a information gathering tool and you can see the tools and the results sample url because it is for testing purpose so you can take these sample urls and then you can test it so this is malware traffic analysis where you can get information about the malwares and exploits you can see the blocks are available here for example 2019 blocks so if you can click here these all blocks are regarding malware for example examples from three days of emotet plus fall of malware right you can see all the malware's information is available you can read it this is uh, basically a sense for suspicious domains so you can type here domain name and uh, click on search and you can get information if that domain is suspicious or not for example uh, if i type www walnumweb.com this is a sample website if you click on search and it will search for this particular domain and will provide you information if that domain is dangerous or not so here you can see that the submitter diversity is low risk zero so this domain is safe right so there is a range of 0 to 10 and the IP address is available of the server the host name the host country everything is available here right so you can get information about that particular domain right here so these informations are very useful 
because if you are trying to scan a website or if you are trying to scan a network you can provide the ip address here or the website name here and you can get information about that particular ip if you want to get information about the malwares the malware traffic analysis is available there read about the latest malwares and get information right reporting and research is available here 